How do you get the wow factor for your event? How do you light a crowd on fire? How do you move, excite, and motivate your audience? You get Lynn Rose, who's the perfect combination of charming and crowd-pleasing, quick thinking on her feet, and committed to making your evening flow effortlessly. When you want a fabulous keynote speaker to energize your people and motivate them to perform at their highest level, that answer is Lynn Rose. Stand up. Stand up. So how many of us keep going for it and going for it, but you hit hard knocks, you know, you make mistakes, or you fall down on your face, have to get back up again? How many of us have encountered that, right? Welcome to being an entrepreneur. Yes. You gotta take risks, you gotta take action, you gotta step out. But sometimes it's a little scary, right? And sometimes it's a, uh, and then, you know, and you keep falling down, you keep gotta get, get, get back up. And I liken it, the path of an entrepreneur to bungee jumping. <laughs> Have any of you been j bungee jumping? Oh yeah, most of you are like, heck no, <laughs> right? Either you can make life either a series of wows, which is what you do, or you can make life a series of woes. But the power to wow all comes down to two things, your attitude and your actions. So they got up to the edge, and there are people the size of ants 150 feet below. And they start counting down, five, I tried to jump, and I could not make myself jump, literally. I'm trying to will it, it would not go. So, okay. That is perfect. So you got a theme song. So think about for yourself, what would people say is your theme song, right? And how you show up. What happens is, we think sometimes this is just who we are, but it's like a Pandora channel. There's every type of feeling and music out there. Like you got a, something angry and something happened and made you frustrated. You don't have to stay hooked into it. You can just change the channel, right? But can you imagine you got that hard rock going on and it's screaming in your head, rah! If you're holding on to that channel, do you think you can be productive? Do you think you might be motivating to the teens? Right over here, he's dancing again. Sugoi. <laughs> comes into like, it's too soon, it's too late. It's too soon, it's too late. Ah, and then you get like just overwhelmed with this whole circulation of these voices and you're focusing on them and you're being run by them. When you could just channel all that energy into the direction you wanna go and take a little step with your focus. And even if it's not the right step, which is another voice, what if it's not the right step? <laughs> I gotta get it right. But even if it's not the, the right step, then you'll know, then you'll go to the next direction, which will then point you to the other direction, which will then point to the other direction. Eventually, you'll get there. And that is triple A. Awesome acts of appreciation. Yeah. Awesome acts of appreciation, yeah. yeah. So look for opportunities where you can appreciate where they're showing up, acknowledge where they're stepping up, acknowledge when they're making changes, when they're you know, getting better. And why might that be important? You matter. You matter. In the smallest of ways, in the hugest ways, every day you're making impact. And even the smallest of ways, they count. 
Because those small hinges swing open huge doors. Small hinges can swing open huge doors. And you have an opportunity to use your franchise as a way of changing lives, as a way of touching lives. You never did nothing, baby, you know, wow, wow, guy, you gotta change your ways, get real wild, I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna tell you no lie, wow, jump as the only jump as the real and you're fine, cause, wow, jumpers, don't worry, they never get the blues, 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 <laughs> hey there. And to Mark, we appreciate you and your co-founders for creating this franchise that is obviously touching so many lives and continuing the ripple effect. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's some fun stuff. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, I know one of your missions in life is to get people to know that their voice matters. Uh, mm. How do you do that? Why is that important to you? How do you do it? Well, and I think with social media, I mean, we have such an opportunity. Mm. As we know, social media has been amazing. The silent investor of Twitter had asked me to create a song around Twitter. And um, so I created one. I decided to make it about, let's use our voice for good. Mm. Tweet the change you wish to see in the world. Oh, <laughs> and it's a really fun, playful song. And I'm so passionate about people knowing that your voice matters. We can bring our voices together. So I think we're going to show. A yeah, bit we got a little cool. clip. Oh, wow. Woo. Wow, that's cool. Oh, yes. Nice. Woo. Isn't that great? And that really has made a difference. I mean, people start tweeting, it's right? Great. We're going to do a little tweet move. Tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. I yeah. love anyway. I found my way back, mm -hmm. and now it's like I want everyone to know that feeling of not locking away those parts mm -hmm. of yourself, right. to know that your voice matters, to be able to share your voice powerfully, and I mean not voice voice, which sure that, but I mean who you are. Mm -hmm.